Ha Long Bay, a pearl of northern Vietnam, is probably one of the most recognizable landmarks. By this time I had been to most of the tourist locations in Vietnam, but Ha Long Bay was saved until the end. I had seen it in videos so many times that I felt like I'd seen it all. And I was so wrong. This place is absolutely magnificent and a definite must visit for anyone who comes to Vietnam. There are several ways to do the Halong Bay tour. I'd highlight three options. The first option is to get to Katba Island, stay there and explore the surroundings on your own. The second option is to take a day cruise. You get picked up somewhere in the old quarter, they take you to Halong Bay, you cruise around and return on the same day. The third way is to choose one of those big boat cruises where you pay a little extra but have a luxurious time. For this trip I chose the third option. The reason is based on what I had heard from my friends and other travel bloggers. Katba Island is still developing and may sometimes feel a bit too rough for western tourists. Very few people speak in English there, there are very few good places to eat. Additionally, karaoke bars and beer hoys are simply everywhere. I'm not saying that it's something really bad, but in my imagination, Halong Bay is such an idyllic place where noisy karaoke's and beer hoys just don't blend in, so that was a no for me. The second option, a day tour, was declined too. My friends took it and it was fine, but then the boat was pretty packed with people and had a strong vibe of mass tourism activities where they're more like trying to cling for their dear life instead of enjoying the scenery, so that was a no as well. The third option, a proper boat cruise, felt like the perfect choice. It's a bit costly with prices averaging around $600 for two nights, two people on a boat, but that included all food and excursions. To me it was a pretty decent deal. It truly felt like a unique experience and well, I'll show it to you in a bit. Just for your information though, this is not sponsored by anybody. I paid for the tour myself, so this is my pure and genuine opinion. When you take one of these tours, they normally pick you up straight from your doorstep in a pretty comfortable minivan. There are a few more stops in Hanoi to pick up other people and then you're on a fast route to Halong Bay. There are several more stops along the way, such as at a jewelry shop and then at the pier, and soon you're on your way to the ship. The whole process is done quite seamlessly and swiftly, which is quite unusual in Vietnam. Having lived here for two years, I'm quite used to unexpected delays here and there due to accidents or anything else, but not in this case. Once you board the ship, you realize what you've paid for. It's just great. You are welcomed by friendly porters, offered a welcome drink and invited for a briefing in the ship's lounge room. To be honest, it was beyond my expectations. The boat was beautiful and the rooms were lovely and spacious. They had large windows, big bed, bathtub and a balcony. Basically, they had everything you would want for a comfortable and relaxing holiday. And the interesting thing is that I did see this exact ship in a video from another travel blogger, but it still managed to surprise me. This is the thing about traveling. No matter how many videos you watch about a location, no matter how great the videos are or how well the videos are edited, the actual experience of seeing a place with your eyes will always beat any footage. I personally had this impression about Halong Bay. I've seen the photos and videos of it so many times. They're simply everywhere, so I wondered, should I even go there? I've already seen it. I've seen similar mountains in other places. Why should I even bother? But no, I was so wrong. The views from the ship were simple and believable. I try my best to capture them, but obviously it won't fully show the grandeur of that place. Those magnificent mountains emerging from the water all around you, while the ship smoothly and slowly cruised past them. As an avid videographer, I kept running from one deck to another trying to capture as much as I could. The beauty of the place was impossible to describe. And the best part for me, and this may sound a bit geeky, was that the boat's smooth movement felt like a perfect camera dolly. You know those cinematic cars that smoothly push a camera while filming? A dolly? The ship was essentially a massive dolly for me. All I had to do was select a shot, I 
just the exposure and just stand there while the boat made the smooth motion. It was so cool, I simply couldn't get enough of it. The tour was filled with activities and one of them was a hike through the caves. It was great. I wouldn't say that the cave was something extraordinary that I had never seen before, but it was a great change of pace after cruising through the bay. Another activity we did was a bicycle ride through Kadba Island. It was a wonderful experience, the terrain was mainly flat and the distance of the ride was just enough to enjoy without turning it into an exhausting triathlon. The final stop was at a small cafe where we had some small fish nibbling on our hands and feet, a really weird experience. Afterwards we had a few shots of a quite unusual drink, snake wine, which is produced by infusing a whole snake, usually a cobra or any other venomous snake in rice wine. It was a really odd experience, probably something to try once in a lifetime and then never do again. I did bring my drone with me, but to be honest, I had only one chance to fly it, and that flight nearly ended with me losing it. Most of the time I couldn't fly my drone because of the movement of the boat. It would have been really hard to land it while the boat was still in motion. I imagine experienced drone pilots could easily perform that maneuver, but I simply didn't want to risk losing my drone. But on the second day when the ship made a stop, I finally had a chance to capture some really nice drone shots of Halong Bay. Peaceful flying was stopped by this. Yes, that is a Halong Bay sea eagle. Huge creature. I saw a bunch of them on my way through the bay. While I was flying my drone and taking my best shots, I didn't realize that I was disturbing the eagles. Eagles can pose a serious threat to a drone. They are powerful creatures and won't hesitate a second to snap those tiny drone propellers. When I realized that they were not going anywhere and they were suddenly interested in my drone, I had to quickly retreat back to the boat. In any case, I had already made some decent shots of the bay. One more fun thing on our list was kayaking. It was also a really nice thing to do, a bit of a refreshing change of activity, and the views from a little kayak felt a little bit differently. We parked our kayaks at a hidden beach where we could swim for a bit and then headed back to the ship. It was a nice and relaxing experience without any real extremes except for crawling through that cave. Oh my goodness. You're one of the lucky. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's definitely not made for my height. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! You oh. can oh. Yeah! Oh. Alright. Oh. Traditionally, I'll mention the drawbacks of the trip as well. I think the boat tour was pretty ideal. The organizers did a great job. They tried their best to make sure that our experience is as pleasant as possible. The main concerns, I think, are related to Halong Bay itself. Unfortunately, it has become quite polluted. We had a night fishing session, but all we could catch was some rubbish floating in the current. Swimming in the bay didn't feel pleasant either, knowing how much trash and oil flows through it. I really hope that the Vietnamese government will do something about it. Halong Bay is such a marvelous place and it's a shame to see its natural beauty not being properly preserved. 
But this will do for now. I had been postponing Hello Bay 2 for so long and I was so happy to do it in the most ideal and perfect way possible. But let me know what you think. Would you do the same boat cruise that I did or maybe not? Maybe you would go for any other option? Um, please let me know it in the comment section down below. As always, like, subscribe and I'll see you soon.